Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for allowing me to address you at this 10th session of the Regional Consultative Committee on Disaster Management, which has done so much to advance the disaster risk reduction work in the Asia and Pacific region. One of the committee's well-known areas of focus is the integration of disaster risk reduction into national development. Many of the expectations at its first session in 2000 are today nearing realization. Of course, there is still more to be done. For three years now in a row, disaster losses globally have passed the $100 billion mark. It is obvious we still have a long way to go. Activities that do not consider disaster risk reduction in planning and implementation can therefore not be sustainable. It is crucial that ministries of finance, trade and tourism, private enterprise and multinational corporations, and most important of all, individual people and citizens take action to reduce disaster risk. In only 18 months, we will reach the end of a decade of work under the 10-year Yoga Framework for Action, which has led to great improvement and progress in the way we handle disaster risk. Worldwide consultations have begun on the renewed HFA, and we do hear that all are keen for it to be as effective as the first Yoga Framework for Action, and even more so. Your two-year regional action plan that you are discussing in the next days has never been more relevant as we seek to fully implement the current Yoga Framework for Action and to build a strong way forward after 2015. I welcome the commitment to make Asia and Pacific region a safer place to live in since the creation of this platform in 2000. And to the representatives of the National Disaster Management Offices present in the meeting today, I wish you all a very successful meeting. And I would also like to acknowledge the efforts of the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, the National Emergency Management Agency of the Government of Mongolia, and for the support of the Government of Australia, and for also being here today to discuss all the issues of major relevance for Asia and Pacific. I wish all of you a successful and productive meeting.